it's good to be playing something a little less murder hobo. When we play Space Trackers, we really get to explore the human condition. Yeah. Anyway, uh, what's with this starship in orbit around the planet? Oh, uh, it's a Graxis Battle Scout. Graxis. I hate those guys. Right. Armed quadratic torpedoes lock in on their antimatter storage field and fire. What? Why? I need the XP. Another 750 XP, and I level up. I really want that double-handed karate chop. But but Space Trekkers is all about exploration and diplomacy. It's a game in which we celebrate our differences. Yeah, yeah. Just like Curse of Strahd was a game of chilling gothic horror, until I pulled out my Holy Avenger and smoked the vampires until they exploded! Look, just this week, you've killed three Graxis Battle Scouts, two Romulan Warbirds, a Mon Calamari medical cruiser, a six-mile-long mining ship, and Thunderbird 3. Yeah, that has been a great week, hasn't it? I'm nearly a ninth-level starship captain now. But this game isn't about defeating enemies. Last week, you met a sentient robot, and instead of combining resources and knowledge for the greater good, you out logic it until it exploded. I know! How awesome was that? I was so glad I took that more logical than mathematics feat. Who needs Falcons? I wish you'd take this game seriously. It's a, it's a prism through which we can examine issues of today, not a hack-and-slash dungeon crawl. We use images of the far future to shine a light on the present day. I am taking it seriously. I've been working very hard to look at my character. It's not easier when you keep sending me back in time to meet philosophers. I had to be really creative to think of a reason to vaporise Plato. You weren't supposed to vaporise Plato. You were supposed to learn from him. He held one of the nine essential truths of the universe. Whatevs. Truth, schmoof. I suppose you're going to tell me I wasn't supposed to kill Socrates, Aristotle and Pythagoras either. Look, what's going on with this Graxis battle scout? Well... You blow it out of the sky using your far superior firepower. Ooh. Immediately, your comm system lights up and Admiral Blish appears on the screen, demanding to know what you're doing. I tell him it's never a glorious victory for the unified Federal Republic of Planetary Bodies. By the way, you really need to come up with a catchy name. Admiral Blish is not happy. You have violated every directive, both prime and otherwise. He's going to have you court-martialed for war crimes. What level is he? What does that matter? Just trying to make inquiry, maybe figure out his XP value. What are you talking about? We set course for UFRPB headquarters at maximum warp! Shield up on the zero energy plasma gun! Oh, this is insane. Okay, the entire Republic Navy is waiting for you. This is a battle you can't possibly win. (laughs) <laughs> That's what you say. Look, if I'm going out, I'm taking Admiral Blish, Blosh, whatever his name is, with me. I target the command ship and accelerate to ramming speed. I'm going to use the Holdo Maneuver. But that's a one in a million shot. Nobody has ever done that before. <laughs> I'm not just anybody. When I reached seventh level after killing the ambassadors from the Heavenly Sphere of Peace, I took the one in a trillion feet. It gives me a once-only ability to immediately succeed at a single one in a trillion task. Ah, well, this is only one in a million. The feat doesn't apply. It would need to be used for something that's a one in a trillion chance. Oh, so you're saying I need to make it more difficult. OK, what if we accelerate to rowing speed? In reverse. In reverse. Yes. How does that affect the odds? I suppose it makes it more difficult. Probably one in ten million. Mm, not difficult enough. OK. I'm going to order the entire crew to blindfold themselves. I guess that makes it one in a billion. Getting there. Right, how do I make this more difficult? (sighs) I know! What if we all get really drunk first? I guess that would work. Fine, fine. It's now a one in a trillion shot. Nigh impossible. Or a sure thing, as I like to call it. Okay, we do some shots and then we hit the command ship at rowing speed. What happens? Well, you complete the holdo manoeuvre. The the command ship is destroyed, as are you. Mutual destruction has been achieved. Fantastic. What a glorious way to go out. The campaign is over and I never want to see you again. Mm. How many XP are you worth? 